Okay, so uh, I was trying to say today we're going to look at uh, uh, completion or filling in uh, the blanks. Okay, so uh, in this in the in this discussion. Um, In this discussion about completion, we need to understand what completion items are, okay? And how useful and how also um, bad they are, okay? And also, I'll also give you tips on how to, um, how to construct these, uh, these questions, these uh, question items, okay? So the first thing that you... Um, um, uh, you need to understand is that completion items, okay? Completion items, okay? Um, are especially useful uh, for one, uh, mastery of factual information, okay? Okay? So you're talking about mastering factual information uh, um, when a specified ways or phrase, okay? When a specified word or phrase uh, is important to know, okay? So those things are just very, 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 very important, okay? So uh, completion of, uh, um, of, 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 of such question uh, uh, needs you to understand factual information about them, okay? So a completion item requires a a learner or a student, okay, to answer a question or to finish uh, an incomplete uh, statement by filling in the blanks, okay? So you are required uh, to finish, okay, a statement, okay, okay? Or you, you, finish, you complete a statement by filling in the blank with the correct word or phrase, okay? So that is uh, what it means to say uh, uh, completion, okay? An example of such a, a type of a question are uh, questions like this one. For instance, a network uh, device which converts, okay? So the keyword is converts digital signal, okay? It converts, okay, uh, to analog, okay? So you are talking about the conversion of digital to what? To analog, okay? So we want to know that particular device that converts. So this is a type of a question that is, can be uh, termed as a completion, okay? Can be termed as a completion, um, um, uh, question, okay? So you could answer uh, this particular question, okay? You could answer this particular question, okay? You could answer this particular question by giving the actual, okay? Giving the actual um, um, answer that is supposed to be uh, held by that, okay? Okay, so what could be the the, the answer to this question, if I may ask. Anyone to uh, type in the chat group so that we could know to say, okay, this is the actual answer that is uh, supposed to be held uh, by this particular blank. Anyone to give it a try? Pethias.
Are you able to get me? Please unmute yourselves so that you can say something. Are you able to get me, guys? Yes. Okay, just, if you are in a, in a quiet place, please just leave your, your mics on. Just leave your mics on. Okay. Leave your mic, your mic on. Okay. So I was trying to. Hello, are you able to get me? So I was trying to um to Highlight the importance of. Uh, I asked for a question. To see. I asked a question to say, who can give us uh, answer from this situation? A network device which converts uh, signal, uh, digital signal. Someone to give it a, a try. I think so. It's ADC. What? Analog digital converter. Analog digital converter. Okay. ADC. Anyone? Anyone else? Ah, uh, is. Hello. Anyone to give it a try? Nimbiri, what could be the answer? Switch them. I mean, what could be the answer to this question? I think it's a switch. Pardon? Gwendo. What could be the answer to that question? Yes, gently. Yes, gently. You can go ahead and meet yourself. Uh, it's a modem, sir. It's a modem. Hi. Okay. Yes. So, thank you very much. Anyone else to give it a try? Anyone else? Okay, thank you very much for those answers. So we have seen that you say analog digital converter and then a, a modem. So now, here, which answer could be best fit? Because we are looking at an answer that is just a one phrase. Okay, so you are trying to complete. You are not looking for multiple answers. Okay, so um, I would go for a modem because um, it's a one word answer that we are trying to look at. Okay, are we together? Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. Italy, are we are we together? Okay. Sends Italy. Okay. So uh 
they are more difficult to one thing that you are supposed to understand about these uh, um, uh, uh, these uh, completion is it? Okay. They are more difficult to score. Okay, meaning you it's difficult to attach a mark. Scoring is trying is attaching a mark. Okay, you've marked and then you are trying to attach attach uh, a grade to that particular uh, 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 mark that you've marked. Okay, so that is what we mean by scoring. So they are more difficult to score than uh, first choice uh, uh, items. When you talk about first choice score items, you, you can look at other items such as a multiple choice. Okay, so these are a little bit high in order, so they are more difficult to score. So scoring often uh, must be done by the rest, by the test writer. Okay, okay. since more uh, more than one answer um, may have to be considered to be a uh, correct answer. Okay, are we together? So now, uh, these these type of questions are are different from short answer questions. All together, when you talk about short answer questions, um, um, uh, you are talking about a type of question that is a little bit different. Okay, but they have the same format. They have the same format but it's a little bit different from um, a completion. So with completion questions, the response is usually one or two words, okay? One or two words that can fit on the line provided by the tester, okay? So you as a teacher, you, you are the one to provide uh, guidance on what, how many words are supposed to. So the blank shows to say, um, this is the number of questions that you, you, you want, uh, answers that you want, okay? Not a situation whereby a short uh, blank is to be filled in by a long sentence, okay? So now, there are also short answer questions. Now, short answer questions might need one sentence, okay? Or even a paragraph, okay? So, Somebody ask a question to say, explain. Okay. So now in you trying to explain, you can't explain by just using one, one word. But you are supposed to use a couple of words, which can be maybe half a sentence or a sentence or even a paragraph. You see that? So that is um, what is the difference between a completion and a short answer. Okay. So... This is completion, and then this is short answer. Short answer. Are we together? Are we together? Pethias, are we together? Yes, sir. Okay. Upper the others, are we together? Upper the others. Agenda. We are together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Mbenda has got a question. Mbenda? No, sir, I don't have a question. I was just wondering if you were, I'm, I'm, I'm around. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, the next thing that we're going to look at is um, a short answer question. Are we together? So a short answer question are appropriate in measuring students uh, or learners' understanding of principles. How together? Okay. Because if you look at the the completion one, the completion one is a little bit different because what you need is just maybe one word or two words. Okay. So they are objective in nature. But when you look at the short answer questions, the short answer questions are appro appropriate to measuring um, student understanding of the principles or ability to solve a problem 
or apply principles. So you're looking at this short answer type of question is a little bit higher in terms of order, okay? Okay, because look at what you're trying to, to understand from Elena. You're trying to uh, understand uh, Elena's uh, ability to solve problems and also ability to apply principles, okay? So it's, it's different from maybe a multiple choice uh, type of a question, okay? And also it's different from maybe um, a short, uh, uh, a, a completion kind of instruction. So this is the difference between uh, uh, what we we are talking about as a completion and a short answer. Okay? okay. So an example of a short answer question is this one that is given before, where uh, uh, the question is trying to find out to say what is the meaning of the term data capture. Okay. So in this particular instance. You are trying to find out if at all Elena is able to um, Elena is able to um, gently saying that someone with feedback, please. Yes, there's somebody that he, whose mic is not uh, properly fixed. Please uh, fix it properly. Okay. So the the question that we're having here is uh, um, what is the meaning of data capture. Okay. So this is the term that we are looking at. That is driving this particular question, data capture. Okay. And this is a key word, meaning of the term data capture. So you, in you trying to uh, put down the meaning of a data capture, okay. Okay. Abilities. Okay. 